Good evening and welcome to the 7 of 7, the drink bar game show that explores the inebriated minds of our guests. Our mission remains the same week after week to be the only game show that removes the inhibitions of our guests and present them to you in their most honest and happy state. The tool of choice for this assignment, fermented water, brewed only by the finest distillers. For the next 30 minutes, we'll clink glasses, or shall we say glasses, as we engage in a crossfire of questions with our able guest. In due course, we'll separate the boy from the man. After all, it is seven of seven. Please know that this show is recorded under a controlled environment and our guests will be chauffeured to any location of his choice afterwards. These locations are not limited to the three gentlemen's club that, is, that we are aware that he visits on Saturday night. Did I mention? Drink responsibly. My name is OJ and today joining us on the show is Nigeria's biggest food enthusiast from this side of the country. The reference to big also extends to his size. For the man can walk through a wall and keep on going. Yeah. He has been known to refer to himself as the Minister of Enjoyment, to which we all agree. For what better way to make a living than to do so tasting delicacies across the country and getting paid for it. Lucky bugger, right? Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome to the show, food critic, blogger, consultant and writer, Okpayemi Famakin. Okay, is this, what, is this what we're going to be doing? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's go on a quick break and we'll be back. Like almost 40 minutes, the food has finally arrived. So I ordered for father rice, the father sauce, and this. And this one, to diet. So he ordered, what is this? This is awesome. This is awesome. Welcome back, guys. Yes, we say I have Okpayami for my king right here in the building. Okpayami, the rule remains that you may ask a total of seven questions through the duration of this session. All questions must be from cuisine and travel category. I will attempt and succeed in answering all of your questions while firing back with mine. Are you ready for that? Are you cool with that? Okay, for each question we do not get correctly, you must drink. We or you? <laughs> nice one. <laughs> you will drink but first you must choose your poison what do you want um we have 1924 uh, da, 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 you already know <laughs> just pick one what do you want I call it toba. meaning one is not enough okay so let's let's mix all I'm right scared. me you come on my show and i'll be scared of you hell no so you want to mix both yeah so there's the four of this so this is how, how's the journey been for you being a food critic a blogger um, in nigeria to be honest it's been sweet it's i don't want to hype it so much so that people will not come and be you know competing with me but it's, it's the worst job in the it's, it's actually yeah, right. really, really nice it's nice you learn a lot but is it is it is it a job that will get the ladies tripping any day anytime it's only for a woman it's for myself or oh. mm. for myself but yeah women mm. surprisingly they like it Breakfast no, in no, bed. Like me, not job. Breakfast in bed. I don't cook for women. I'm not married, so. Hey, God. Okay. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Okay, so three of this. Yeah, three of that. We got you. So you'll be doing seven of the. What, make, what makes you think I'm doing any of this poison here? Yeah? <laughs> I feel like I've been set up. Uh, okay. 
So done with that one. Doesn't really matter. I won't be drinking anyways. So you think so? Doesn't matter. The questions I have for you today. Food questions, correct? Yes, travel, cuisine. Yeah. Nigerian related. Don't go ask me about Gambia. Thanks for giving me that heads up. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the first person to eat a bar in Gambia? Like, I would like to know that. The forefathers in Gambia. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have this done already. But first, before we start the show proper, we have our usual ritual whereby we just cheers to sign the dotted lines to make sure that we're ready for this. Boom. Oh. So I'll feel this one again. Stop. Ladies and gentlemen, now that we're both clear on the rules and I've signed the dotted lines, let's begin that also one one class drink bar. Let's go. So today, I'm going to Ghana, and this is Barco. So this is Ghanaian fufu, tilapia, shito, and pepper sauce. I think this is nice. If there was, this is not soup. I don't know what this is, but this sauce is. I think as a Nigerian, I think if it was like proper soup, this would slap. So like, I don't know. Do you? So I'm not abusing Ghana. I'm just talking. I'm just asking my Ghanaian followers, please comment. So do you like do this? Also, why, why is there no egg? I thought Ghanaians eat egg with everything. Where's the boiled egg? So I think I'm putting this this. And this, I feel these are white people who feel when they are saying swallow. Like, do they chew it? Do they swallow it? Oh, let's focus on the fish. Even this. Yes, welcome back to 7 of 7. My name is OJ, in case you're wondering, and I have a pair of me from my king right here in the building. Yes, and today we will reach through the mind of one of Nigeria's most notable food critic, and we've signed the dotted lines. Are you sure you're ready for this one? I should be asking you that question. I sense fear in your voice. Hmm. Now I'll begin with the question. <clears throat> yes, category location. <clears throat> Your fascination for good dining and traditional meals is evident in many of your catalog experiences on social media as well as your waist size. <laughs> yeah, you've been, never been limited to the urban palette, but often experiment with the people, cultures, and ingredients you meet. As a core member, you served in Kaduna amidst the modest Edom people, right? Good. It is safe to say that you adopted, you adapted to the few but fascinating food experiences there, sometimes sourcing from the local ingredients to make your own home-cooked meals. Is this correct as well? Okay. I'm getting stalker vibes on that question. Yeah. But how did you know this? <clears throat> so I see you definitely enjoyed your NYC days. I did my research. Uh, so as a well-traveled lover of Nigeria, its people, and of course its food, tell us what the main language of the Idon people of Kaduna it's called. Definitely not how far. Are you asking me? No, no, no. Okay. Mm. They told us when mm. they were doing. Yeah. yeah, they did. They told us when we were doing. It's okay. Very simple. They answered. <laughs> Drink. We, we did not hear you. They are, they are what? They are called. And I like those people. They were nice. Shame on you. What year was that, by the way? I'm 2015. You c that's no excuse. That's no excuse whatsoever. Drink up. But they spoke Hausa. Yeah. Uh, Hausa. Okay, Hausa. Drink up. They are not Hausa. Yeah. Uh, but nobody spoke their language when I was there. Okay. You can, I'll call my lawyer to defend. <laughs> what is the answer? Thank you very much, Ajia. Okay, I will have told it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you said you wouldn't drink anything. No, I was going easy on. I knew the answer was that. Yeah. Oh, just to go with the flow. Yes. I get it. It's a drinking game. Yeah. You know, drinking yeah. Out. Mess okay. everything up. I seem like a snob. I get you. It's on my turn. No, okay. my next question. Calm down. I have to make sure you just drink a whole lot and not be in your right frame. 
While the food business in Nigeria is virgin territory for most, in the last six years we've seen a bloom in critics, uh, chefs, blogs and businesses who have made their trade and content. TV programs have jumped on this content and brands are beginning to exploit the benefits of this burgeoning genre. And many bloggers have taken advantage of the annual food and drink festivals that happen across Lagos. But it all started from somewhere. Way back in the 80s. Wait, were you born in the 80s? 80s? Interesting. Continue. continue. Were you born? No, no I wasn't. Okay, yeah. You be Gen Z. Maybe I reincarnated. Who knows? Maybe I was born then, then reincarnated. So Gen Z in the building. Not lying. <laughs> Many mothers acing up their dinner preparation so they could end the evening on Thursday nights watching this heat program. Okwe in 30 seconds. Can you remember She's light -skinned. what Nigeria's premier cooking show from ah. the 80s was called? I know the lady. She's, she's light skinned. Yeah. She, she, no, she's she like me. She's, you know, robust. Yeah. That's like. I'm not answering you, by the way. I'm like just. Three over 10. No? Okay. In 30 seconds, it's 10 already. I forgot. No, 12. Something. I forgot. 13. Or something. I was not. 14. I tried. At least. Yeah. Even though I failed it, you guys might know. You She's do. light skin. It was a no show. Uh, drink. Thank What's you, man. Drink. I want to make sure. Thank you very much. Yes, Maggie family menu. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Iyabo Lawani is the grand patron of Maggie cooking show, Maggie family menu, and Maggie, Maggie. grand no. food moments. Yes, Maggie family menu was the first Nigerian cooking show in the 80s and early 90s. Iyabo Adeline Lawani was honored with an award by the National Commission for Museum and Monuments, NCMM Lagos branch. In 2019, as she received the honorary award because of her support and contribution to the cooking competition of the 2019's Children's Day celebration. Let me just come in. Shame on you. So those watching, even though I did not get the answer correct, you know I know it. That's all I have to say. Mm. Don't be like this guy. Everything you know, you know I know it. He don't know anything. Like two so questions, he don't drink. He know. He know. Say I try. He don't know anything. Your turn. Uh, okay, man, please, be, uh, please be nice. Where are you from? <laughs> Waiting up. I'm not going to so that you catch me. No, no, no. Like, uh, you know already. Mm. So, sous vide. What is that? Exactly, beautiful. Let's just drink. What is sous vide? Spell. S-O-U-S-V-I-D-E. Oh, God. Why do you know these food questions? It's food related questions. Sous vide. I think you're a chef and you don't know this answer then. Pronounce it. Sous vide. So, what's the question? What is sous vide? What does sous vide mean? I'm just gonna... It's from... It sounds French. Sous vide. That's not what I asked you. Uh, yeah. Not what is the origin. What yeah. is sous vide? Or whatever, for me. <laughs> so what is it? So sous vide is a cooking technique where... Hmm? Yeah. It's like frying, but not frying. Like, you know, it's not a food. No, no. It is a cooking technique where you put the protein or vegetable in a nylon or a wrapper. Oh, is that what it's called? I, 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 I knew. It in its own juices. So oh. It's like basically. Sous vide. Sous vide. Alpha, you don't, the sous vide is not ready. Can we use it in a statement like that? Sous vide meats or these vegetables were sous vide. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice one. I like that. Shoot, your next question. Second one. <laughs> Kirigina. Is a soup from which part? Which state in Nigeria? Which state? Yes. Why did you like this now? It's from the north. Are you not Nigerian? It's, uh, it has to be from the north. It's not a state. I, I oh, wait, now. Nah. I know that. Ki Africa is the country I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> Pro call it again. Kirigina. Kirigina. Hmm. Where in the north would this kind of thing originate from? Um. Kirigina. Kirigina. Kaduna. Ah, you tried. You tried. Close enough. Where? What state? That's what they mean. Not Kaduna. Bayosa. Kirigina. Kirigina, yeah. So it's a soup where. You are the one that not pronounce it well. Kirigina. That sounds Aosa. No, no, it's, it's Bayosa. And they have their language. It's a soup where they don't cook it. They just mix the ingredients, pour a bit of warm water, mix it, and soup is ready. Kirigina. Kirigina. Damn. So I'm going to drink again. Bayosa, guys. 
Yeah, Kirigina. Why would I go name Una Soup Kirigina? It sounds outside, but it's <laughs> Oh, God. So, just because I knew the answer as well. Don't be deceived. Yeah, I knew this one too. But no, no, no. Mine, I didn't give proof. I said that yellow woman. I knew. I said no on purpose, <laughs> just to make you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Resist the urge to shall I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we are, we are even with the way things are going. Maybe? Yeah. I'm teasing on you. I'm teasing on you again. Hopefully you will not get this one. My third question. <clears throat> There's a young man who hails from Abelkta Ogun State but grew up in Benin City. Those states is studied industrial relations and human resource management at Covenant University. Hey, Chef Riggs. Next question. What if it wasn't yeah. Chef Riggs I was Chef talking Riggs, about? Riggs. Okay. By 2009, he yeah. established his own catering service. The following year, saw him jetting off to Paris, who France. Me? He studied in Cordon Le Bleu. Okay. Who me forget that? So very smart of you, Akwemi um, Famaki, for not even letting me finish my question. You form the phone say you're smart. The biggest food critic in Nigeria, like, like yeah. I said, it's about knowledge more more than anything. Whatever. Now your turn. So you know, <laughs> you've exposed me that I'm big everywhere. You everywhere. Said you said it yourself. Too. No, no, you said it. You're emphasizing. You're still so emphasizing. How tall am I? I need to be exact. How tall am I? Yeah. Stand. Yeah? Stand. There's measurement in my eye. I need to if I'm... Um, That's an easy question. Six said there's measurement in your eye. Six... Six two? Final answer. Six two. Final answer. My final answer. You're correct. <laughs> you see that there's measurement in my eye. Wow. I can measure. That was a lucky guess. No, I. So what? What I did? That was a lucky. I guess. took my measurements, which yours gauged. Why did I choose that question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was I, why did I? That was, ah. So we are still even. Two shots down. Uh, five more glasses remaining. Uh, my turn. But, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go on a quick break and we'll be back with 7 of 7. Welcome back, guys. Yes, in case you're wondering, you're still watching 7 of 7. My name is OJ, and food critic, blogger, the big man himself, Okwemi Fomaki, is still right here in the building. And so far, so good. Two shots down, five glasses remaining. Let's see how we can cope. Uh, yeah, it's still even. But anyways, my next question, and hopefully you will drink and not do the usual that you will not let me finish my question before you now start answering. Right. For me, for me, for me, bad guy. Right. Let's explore the foreign food space now. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Chef Gordon Ramsay is a British chef, restaurateur, um, television personality, and writer. He founded his restaurants group in 1997 and has been awarded 16 Michelin stars overall since. After rising to fame on the British television miniseries Boiling Point in 1999, he became one of the best known and most influential chefs in the world. In 2004, he launched the award-winning British series Ramsey Kitchen Nightmares, in which he endeavored to turn failing restaurants into profitable enterprises and Hell's Kitchen, in which he took on the challenge of turning aspiring restaurateurs into quality chefs. Okpemi Famaki, what other endeavor is Chef Gordon Ramsay most notably famous for? Are you, are you being serious? Is that... Master chef, like 
if that's not the answer, I don't want to know what answer is there. What other thing aside? Oh, being a chef. Yeah, famous for. You don't you want the oh, form? Oh, being a food critic. Being, being, there are many things. There's no one, there's no one answer to that. Aside food related. <laughs> aside being a... Uh, yeah. He's an author. Being an author is not a food. Writing about food, anything aside food. You know, I'll let you have it. I know the answer, but you know, I will not So say. just drink. Thank you very much. Wait. No, I, I'm done. I'm just curious. What else does it do? Okay. Yeah. What he was famous for, not to be famous for before being a chef, football. Yes. He also had a stint in football where he had a trial with Rangers at the age of 15, but his career was marked with injuries, including damaging the knee cartilage during training and tearing the cruciate ligaments. According to his autobiography, he played a couple of non-league matches as a trialist for Rangers Football Club. Well, okay, he's British. Yeah, I can see that happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can see that happening. As Ofe Onubu is to Anambra State, Afang Soup is to Epic Tribe in Akwa Ibom, Black Soup is a popular Edo State delicacy, uh, you won't jump into the question. Anokazi soup is widely popular amongst Abia state indigenes. To what region of Nigeria? The suspect. Is the... Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the you go drink. To what region of Nigeria is the Onunu and fish stew <laughs> ingenious you, soup? You, you know this one? Uh -uh. Who am I? Okay, where? Oh, no, no. Oh, uh, yeah. And Fisherman Soup. Yeah. River State, Port Harcourt. But not only River State. Bayosa too also owns it. Show off. <sighs> Show off. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, he was it's, right. It's not Onunu, it's Onunu. 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 It's a swallow dish made, with made from a combination of yam and plantain, plantain accompanied oil. with fish stew. Fisherman. And this is a popular delicacy of the Calabari people in River State. Okay, me. Whatever. Maybe by snapping food picture, they talk to the food sweet though. <laughs> now so. And they saw Buna, some of the people where they are. <laughs> Your question now. Uh, should I go easy on you? I should go hard on you. Easy. Okay. Easy. I'm not bragging, by the way. So wine. Yeah. There are three types of wine. All the wines in the world fall under three types of wine. I should name them. Yeah, it's very, very easy. And you know the crazy thing was that just yesterday I was watching Hat to Hat. Wait, wait. Just yesterday I was watching Hat to Hat by mm -hmm. Kevin Hart. And you know on the show, a son serves wine. You feel the third one. And I got a little bit of knowledge from it. Okay. Red wine. Uh -huh. White wine. You feel the third one. Sparkling wine. Ah, you <laughs> <it>? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you already know. Sparkling wine. Oh, I respect that. Yeah. Many people don't know this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very you much. Far You're far too that. kind. You're far too kind. So, who is leading? I'm still leading. It's three. I allowed you. I'm, I'm being kind because it's your show. So that you're not beating me. <laughs> I'm saying four bouncers. They're looking at me. Yeah. Kind of That's why. <laughs> your question. You got the right question right. Wow. Ramen noodles. Hmm. Please. From what country? Spell it. R A M E N. Hmm. Ramen. Ramen. It sounds Arabic. Yes, yes. You're getting there. Oh, you're you're close. You didn't whine me. <laughs> <laughs> you're whining me. Was that you just being sarcastic? I'll give you a hint. What do they originally, those who invented noodles, what do they eat noodles with? Chopsticks. Chopsticks. So the Arabs eat with chopsticks. So no, so this go to the region that eats with chopsticks. Hmm. I'm even giving you a clue. China. Am I correct? <laughs> would be nice. Second country that comes to your mind. Not China. J Japan. That's maybe nice. Yeah, Japan is the answer. <laughs> It's not that it was giving me hints well, or anything. Arab was his answer, Shah, yeah, right. like, like ramen? Yeah, ramen from Japan. Not, 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 not Africa. No, no, no. So there's noodles and there's ramen. It's like rice and jollof rice. So noodles is an Asian thing. Yeah. Pasta is noodles, technically. Thanks for the heads up. So uh, I have one more question left. 
I'm, I'm still winning, by the way, so... Still based on noodles. What is it again? Hmm. Indomie noodles. Still on this noodles matter. It's from one country. <laughs> Give me options now. Huh? All I'll say is that the answer is very obvious. Oh, yeah. On the sachet... On the sachet of noodles... It's not China. Indonesia. <laughs> this is my victory dance. I love the retake of this one. I, I came so easy. This is my victory dance. I got that right, right? <laughs> because it's on every carton, it's on every sachet. Who reads these things? People that don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, wow, I am I'm good. So I'm so easy on you. No, 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 no. But I'm, I'm going easy on you. I'm leading, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. So we we'll go for the break. You got the answer right. Yeah, I'm I'm that smart. Yeah, okay. I'm that smart. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll go on a quick break and we'll be back with seven of seven. Hello guys, I'm Fama. You know who I am. Let's know this introduction. I'm the biggest food critic in Nigeria. So today I'm in Bayosa. So I'm it here came to Bayosa specially for this snail and plantain, which we saw on the side of Niger, and we're like, you know, for the place go. So it's called Osi Igenabe. I'm sure I mispronounced the name. I'm very sure, but I'm more Yoruba than me. So, so this is Osi Igenabe. This is, you know, the name. What is the name? Sorry. Kekefia. Kekefia. Sorry. This is Kekefia. This is plantain porridge and fish. This is okra flour. This is a lot of seafood. I think this is the mermaid there. This is mermaid water. It's is that a little bit chill first? What is this? Is that a little bit? You can't do a little bit of shiny sunny. This is mama cocoa. Then this is like not fisherman soup, but like there's a lot of seafood here. There's sea snail, there's ocean snail, there's there are crabs. Then this is local pepper sauce, then this is yellow pepper. I don't know what's doing there, but I think this is for. So let's dive in. I don't know. So they say we should use a fork to eat it. I know in France, snails are called escargot. So this is like probably a Nigerian version of escargot. Mm. Okay. Mm. This is unwrap plantain. I don't have diabetes. Right? So personally, I don't like unwrap plantain. I think it will just have diabetes. Okay. Let me taste it. Mm. Okay. I like the broth, it's very peppery. Ooh. Let's try it. Whoa, I called the name earlier on. So this one, I like is an acquired taste, but okay. It's a bit slimy still inside. I guess that's what the this one too is I think there's awkward in the store, but there's something joined in it. This is like caramel muscle. Look at this, come close, come close, come close. This is another caramel muscle, one of the two. It looks like clam. I think it's clam. Mm. Or more. Mm. Or more. What about the clams? There's even meat, cow meat inside this stuff. Cow meat. I think catfish skin. This looks like alligator, I swear to God. This place, come on, please come closer. So what is this? This looks like alligator or a crocodile. Mm. Oh, okay. I think we are good with that. I'm gonna shift. Shoman Jegbe. Shoman Jegbe. Come close, come close, come close. Show, just show them, don't show my face, just show them, show them. Show the beauties of my side. Ah! Mmm! Thank God, I'm not a goat. Thank God, I'm not a goat. Because goat can only eat grass.
Yes, welcome back, guys. Um, it's still seven of seven. My name is OJ, and Okwemi me from is still in the building. Okwemi, me, how many is this? We are looking away. <laughs> so I'm still leading because you can't come to my bar and think you can beat me. Uh, so three glasses down, two glasses down on my side. Well, you know it's right. Four more remaining for you, five more remaining for you, and hopefully with this question I'm about to ask you, you will still drink. Well, you know it's right. No. Let's put it out there. The whole idea, I wanted you to drink all. But I won't be drinking all. Oh, uh, yeah, sadly. Yes, my question, you can't talk about African foods without addressing the Jollof Wars. <clears throat> In times past and even till now, Nigerians have claimed origins Senegal, to this Senegal, famous Senegal, Senegal, iconic. Senegal, Senegal, Senegal. Wait now, nah, wait. Well, you, China, wait China, I, will, I will still catch you. You are forming smart. Well, love of Senegal. Uh, in times past and even till now, Nigerians have claimed origins to this famous iconic African dish, which Ghanaian are holding fast to their claims as originators and well, connoisseur love, of this best kind of jollof. As a food expert, do tell us the true origin of this well, most. Love, Senegal, from the Wolof. The Wolof tribe from Senegal are the original owners of the Wolof tribe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, acquire me for my kings, right? Okwe is always right when food is involved. Even when you think he's wrong, Okwe is always right. Liar. Yes, you're very correct. The Wolof people of Senegal, the origins of Jollof rice can be traced to the Senegambian region that was ruled by the Wolof of all Jollof Empire in the 14th century, spanning parts of today's Senegal, the Gambia, and Mauritania where rice was grown. The name Jollof is derived from the name of the tribe, Wolof. Random fact, did you know that uh, ancestors in the rice, we do not have rice in Nigeria, it was brought to us by the... From Senegal? White people, no, white people. Oh. Hmm. Thanks for that, heads up. So the next time I'm having a food critic, I already have that answer. Uh, this is not working. Your last question, before I shoot my last question. <coughs> what the... Was I born? <laughs> Do you know why I'm laughing? Because before we started shooting, I just, no, this shall I, uh, what day? Not what day? What day? Yes. Not the date. What day? Yeah. What is today's? What day? Today, today is your birthday. Today, what? What is today? Don't look at. Don't look. It's cheating. No, drinking. like I'm they looking. Drinking. What day was I born? Don't don't look. You. Yeah, don't look down. I'm looking down. Should I look up? It's cheating. Look, Should I look, look up? Look at me. What day was I born? Don't look anywhere. On the 27th. You cheated. Of July. So today is your birthday, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, me. Everything boils down. This whole show led up to me asking you for a ring. Not in marriage. <laughs> yeah, it's but, good that we're clarifying that. But, 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 yeah. This is, my this is jazz. Since you know I'm big, give me the biggest ring. This is jazz and yeah, jinx. I'll be praying, mother. This is jazz and I'll jinx. I'll be praying, mother. I'll be praying, mother. No, Okpa wants to take my jazz. No, ladies, boy. he's a stingy person. <laughs> That's how you know. I'm not stingy. Oh, yeah, I give him one. In the other room, he has four rings. He has four rings. Jazz, jazz, Red jazz. Red flag. <laughs> if mother has four rings, I cannot give one ring. Red flag. Bring one. I will give you. That will be a birthday no, gift. Give it on camera. Hey God, Okpa me. Okpa me for my kids trying give to set me up. Red flag. Four rings. Your, you push every a man agenda. Cannot, your, four, you cannot give one. your agenda will not agent today. Foring. My final question before we wrap up. Uh, you mo you mentioned earlier that Chef Freggs doesn't like you. Uh, in this food critic business and being a blogger and a chef, uh, if you don't answer me, you will drink by the way. No. I'll definitely answer. Is there a food blogger or a chef that you do not like? His full name and the name of his company. A chef. Or I a food blogger like that you do not like in Nigeria. Oh, I'm not, okay, no. The squash, the, there was one I did not like. But what, his name and the name of the company. Wako. If not... No, no, no. So I will never acknowledge the person. Oh, so... But Wako now, so that doesn't... So that means you will drink? Yeah, Chef Taylor in Abuja. He chef. Chef Taylor. Doesn't know shit. What's his Instagram? There are handle? plenty. I don't... I, that's the thing. Taylor, you don't no, want to no, give him no, too much no, exposure. I generally do not know his idea, and but there's a chef Taylor in Abuja okay. who doesn't know shit. So, Chef Taylor, dear, you have it. Okwe me for Makin doesn't like you. No, 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 no. I don't oh, he says, he says, he says. He just doesn't know shit. Okay, I thought he wouldn't answer and drink, but is that bold? You know, I will drink. <laughs> like, After the you name calling. It does not exist. You know what? I take the answer back. I don't acknowledge people that don't exist. Yeah. I'll drink to that question. There's nobody. Drink to the name, Chef Taylor. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the session here on 7 of 7. But that's not all. As always, the tradition here is to check your severity before we let you go. Call it the walk of shame and you won't be wrong. So we are doing a tongue twister. Okay, sure. I'm, I'm going to wait. Okay. Betty but, what, Butter yeah. bought some butter but said this butter is bitter. You go first. No, it's, uh, yeah, well, I'm testing you. I'm testing okay. you. You, you are yeah, on my show. Back. No, you don't. You oh, so how do we know that you are so bad? I'm all right. I just said it out. I'm Betty right. Butter bought some butter but said this butter is bitter. Five times fast. Say it slowly. I didn't get that. Betty Butter Betty bought butter. some butter bought some but butter. said this butter is bitter. Betty Butter bought some butter but said the butter is bitter. Betty Butter bought some butter but said the butter is bitter. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. Betty Butter bought some butter. Betty Butter bought some butter but said the butter is bitter. Betty Butter bought some butter but said the butter is bitter. Betty Butter bought some butter but said the butter is bitter. Betty Butter bought some butter but said the butter is bitter. Betty Butter bought some butter but said the butter is bitter. Whatever, me for my In American accent, in British, in British accent. accent, in Nigeria. Even do you want trenches? Thank you very much, Akwemi for my king, for being a sweet addition to our list of drunken celebrity guests right here on the seven of seven. Yeah, celebrity right now. You are calling people out on national I didn't TV. Know, but since you guys are being <laughs> celebrity, I will take that mantle out. Boy, I want you by the way. I yes, with you. love and much blessings, we say go forth and may your passion for food never dim. Say amen. 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 And ladies and gentlemen, that's the show this evening. We hope you enjoyed it. Join us again next time as we drink on 7 of 7. My name is OJ. And like I always say, do not drink and drive or else you might spill your drink. Be at peace with yourself. We are out.